Washington Commanders at home week 13, trying to snap a three-game losing streak. That's going to be tough, being they take on the Miami Dolphins this week, who are experts in dealing with teams like the Commanders. Pass here, here's Hill, escapes a tackle, into the end zone he goes for the game's first touchdown. Miami, winners of three of their last four. Washington, losers of five of their last six. And try this one on for size. It's the Dolphins' offense putting up over 30 points per game this season. That continues with the touchdown. Monster. Facing the league's most generous defense, Miami may be eyeing another 70-burger. It's the screen pass. Down to the end zone for a Dallas touchdown. Washington comes in off a game that saw them give up 45 points. Okay, to be fair, their offense put up seven of those points, but still, the showing led to the midseason firing of defensive coordinator Jack Del Rio. Giving up 30-plus to the lowest-scoring team in football the week before probably didn't help. Going for the big ball. Wide open! Touchdown, Brandon Cooks. Point is, you can see how big a challenge it's going to be for Washington defensively this week. Miami, with Tua having an off game, still scored 34 versus a tough Jets defense last week. Big hole, going to the end zone. Icing on the cake, touchdown Mostert. Okay, 27 since they didn't produce the fail Mary. Tungavailoa still made 100-yard receivers out of two guys. Jalen Waddle, 114 yards. Going deep, and it's going to be holding. Waddle making the catch over Gardner. The Cheetah got his new wife an early Christmas present to go along with 102 yards. Corners on islands. DJ Reed is very good, but you're talking about one of one with, with Tyree Kill and staying with him on that slot fade. Fortunate just to catch up with him and bring him down. Washington's got to be able to stop those two first and foremost. Good thing they are at the top of the charts when it comes to defending the wideout position in 2023. Check that. Filter is on upside down. They are dead last, giving up a 114 rating. Throw in the edge of the end zone. He makes the catch. He's got a touchdown. Seahawks. Maybe Washington's pass rush can help. Zero sacks versus Dallas. Barely pressured Dak Prescott, who then proceeded to throw four touchdowns with a rating over 140. To me, that's like you cannot give those kind of windows if you're Washington. Able to get pretty quick separation right there. Oh, and guess which team leads the league in yards per her carry when they toke it. Yep, the Dolphins hitting at 5.5 for the season, over half a yard better than any other team. Touchdown, Miami! The Dolphins have now scored 34 consecutive points. All right, maybe the DC change lights a fire under some guys and they play inspired ball on defense. If they don't, it's going to be another long day at the office for Sam Howell. He's used to it. He's easily the most intriguing player to watch with Washington. NFL leader in passing yards. Third and 10, there was pressure on the throw, but he got it away to Samuel, who takes off for a big gain. Howell went for 300 in their blowout loss to Dallas. He's thrown for 300-plus yards in four of his last five games now. Throws, catch is made, the run to the end zone, and we're a point away from being tied up. Sacking him doesn't slow him down either. He hasn't had a game in his career where he wasn't buried, so probably thinks it's normal. Washington's second in sacks allowed in 2023. No individual quarterback has bitten the dust more often than Howell has. Howell takes the snap, back to throw, hit by Thibodeau and sack. So pair that up with a Miami pass rush that just dropped a seven spot last week. They show one look and go to another and make you react to it, confuse the offensive lineman. Hand has power, that time he shows quickness. Boo, hiss, boo, hiss, seeing Jalen Phillips leave hurt though. They still have Bradley Chubb and Emmanuel Ogba off the edge at least. Ogba, one and a half sacks last week, has four for the season now. Look out, down he goes here, ball is loose. That was Ogba coming in. Their DT combo, only one like it, is on on the other team, defensive tackle Zach Sealer, he nabbed his fifth sack, and the best inside dude in the game, Christian Wilkins, two bags last week, half a dozen for the year. You think he would have collapsed down, instead, he's there with discipline and he's quick. Howell does represent a tougher challenge compared to what Miami's secondary dealt with last week. They took care of Tim Boyle as expected, two picks, a sub-70 rate. They are a bunch getting better week by week. I mean, the entire way he built up more more and more speed. He left all the skill behind him. All the receivers are way behind him. Now you got linemen and one skill guy in Brees Hall who gets blocked. And now you're asking Boyle to try to make a play right here and he's got no chance. Not expecting any red W's from the picks panel. Doesn't mean an upset can't happen though. Anyone in the comments section willing to make a case for the commandos or is everyone gonna paint this one aqua?